Balance beam, Oklahoma third rotation, and this is Melissa Smith. And it is a very tight competition. Every tenth is gonna make a difference as we keep harping on. But she gets to the balance beam, and this is where it is all on the line. Very good layout step out. Melissa Smith, the sophomore from Keene, North Carolina. This has been her specialty. So competes in the uneven bars. Very nice three-leaf combination right there. Very solid. Oh, and a little wobble right there on a fairly simple combination. How does that play on your mind when you know you did a, just a little something that's going to detract from your score? Oh, it's incredibly difficult, especially on balance beam. If you have the slightest wobble, it's like the tension mounts tenfold because you know how important the rest of the routine is to get composed. You especially don't want to give away tents on easy skills when you know you have to do things like a layout step out on a four inch wide surface. Comes a dismount, a double twist. Yeah! And she definitely minimized any deductions on that dismount. Stuck to the landing. So Melissa Smith comes through. Another look at the dismount, round off onto the end, double full. That's the way to finish. Well, the Missouri Tigers are doing well past the halfway point of this Big 12 championship. And Sarah Ziegler here in the uneven bars. And there was a release move, a very common release move done in this competition, a reverse hack. And we are gonna get another look at another double layout dismount. A little short on the landing, small step forward. You could see she had to also pike down in the air a little bit, and that just leaves a little bit of a bad impression in the judge's mind. Well, the transfer from Arizona State for the Tigers, and now to the balance beam, and this is Tara Anderson for Oklahoma. And she is a very clean gymnast on this event. She does very nice leaps, very good form. There's the very common pass we've seen, the back handspring to the layout step out. And even though I say it's common, does not mean it is easy, it is not. In the hours of work that go in for all of these gymnasts to be able to perform like they have, whether it's the balance beam or any of the other events here. Absolutely. We just saw her leap combination and that swing down to the straddle on the beam is called the Corbett, named after the famous gymnast Olga Corbett. Very difficult leap right there. She landed sideways on the beam, as we talked about before. That's very, very difficult for the athlete to do. There's a dismount gainer full. Perfect landing. Sooners look good on balance beam. And they are close. It is a tight race. Those stuck landings all make a big difference. As expected. Oklahoma came in 16th in the country heading into this meet at 985 for Tara Anderson. More from the Big 12 Women's Gymnastics Championships in Des Moines, Iowa after this. Floor exercise, Nebraska, Libby Landgraf. And Libby has a very difficult first pass. One of very few gymnasts in the country doing a triple twist. Try to count them if you can, it's difficult. Front through, one, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> it's done absolutely perfectly. Usually you'll see gymnasts attempt that skill and they'll end up a little bit short on the twist, but she opened up on that and just nailed the landing. And I assume that gives her a confidence boost to be able to perform that flawlessly early in her routine. Oh, definitely. When you got a big skill like that, it is a relief to get through it. Front pull to front pike. A little bit low on that. Not quite the amplitude she's used to. And that leaves a great impression in the judges' minds. When you do a skill like a triple full that no one else in the competition is doing and you do it that well, definitely makes a difference in your score. A half a tenth, maybe even a tenth of a point. The Huskers have some catching up to do in this beat. 
Now she has done in the past a triple fold dismount as well. See if she does it right here. She does it again and does it just as easy as she did for her first pass. This is going to score extremely well. So Libby Landgraf. Take a look at this last pass again. See if you can count the twists in the air. Even in slow motion, it goes by way too fast. Very good score, 9.875 for Libby. Alicia Robinson, a great all-around performer for the Missouri Tigers who are having a terrific meet so far in the uneven bars. And she does the Ginger release, the flyaway with a half twist right here. Just a small break in her feet when she caught the bar, maybe unnoticeable to the judges. And she has been so solid all season. She will dismount with the double layout again. It's all about the landing. She adds a full twist, amazing dismount. The most difficult being done, more difficult than the double layout. Did not think we would see that tonight. But she's pulling out all the stops for the Big 12 championships. Boy, 995 in the floor, and then that on the uneven bars. And now Ashley Cooney, the balance beam for Oklahoma. And this freshman really has been thrust into the fire. She has been asked to do a lot for their team. Their best all-arounder at the beginning of the season, Brittany Consack, got injured, and oh, there is a major mistake. Very unfortunate. Yeah, right, there you go, it's coming to life. I better watch out. Well, as we mentioned earlier, though, she wasn't even with the team at the outset of the season, but it was when Konchak went down with her knee injury that Cooney uh, came into uh, the forefront for Oklahoma. Absolutely, and in talking to Coach Nuno before this competition, he said, keep an eye on her. She's a dark horse. She could surprise some people, and she was well on her way. Unfortunately, with that fall, that will definitely take her out of contention for the all-around. She has composed herself well once getting back up there. Here's her dismount. Double twist. Small step on the landing. Very disappointing for her, I'm sure. It's a 9-2-5 score for Ashley Cooney in the balance beam. Now let's go to the floor exercise, and here's a top freshman for the Cornhuskers, Christy Esposito. And she will mount with a double pike. Good landing. Christy was a three-time member of the junior national team. Very good high school gymnast. Four feet, 10 inches tall from Slidell, Louisiana. Nice combination there for a second pass front layout to a front pull. A little short on that double turn. I think she was supposed to make it around a little further. We talked a lot about the seniors for Nebraska, Tammy Harris, Libby Link. Landgraf, but also this freshman, Christy Esposito, has taken up the slack after the loss of Rochelle Simpson. Absolutely, she has been critical, and she is very highly ranked top 25 in the nation in the all-around. And sometimes you don't know who your athletes are until they face some adversity and have to step up for the team. And she has done that very well. Double tuck dismount. Ooh, a little trouble, a little too much spring on that landing. That'll probably be a tenth of the point of a, dedu of a deduction. Christy Esposito for the Huskers. Let's take another look. You can see when she lands, she does not absorb quite enough in her knees on this double tuck. She probably should have done a punch front out of that. Too much power. A 9-8 for Christy Esposito in the floor exercise. Four from the Big 12 Women's Gymnastics Championships in Des Moines, Iowa after this. Welcome back to the campus of Drake University, the Knapp Center, as the Big 12 championships continue. Bill Jones along with John Roethlisberger. This is Tammy Harris. You're in rotation three for the Nebraska Cornhuskers on the floor exercise. And she's got a big, huge double pike mount. 
Done well, little step on the landing. And she definitely enjoys the floor exercise. She gets into it, tries to get the crowd behind her. A little trouble there. That was supposed to be a front pull to a pike front. And that may cost her some very important difficulty. She may not start at a 10.0. Time All American Tammy Harris. And it's important to compose yourself at this point of the routine. She knows she made a mistake, but she's got to finish clean. She's got a big double tuck dismount coming up. She's got to focus on that landing, minimize any deductions the rest of the way. Nebraska trying to win the conference championship for the 10th time in the last 11 years, going back to big eight days. Taking a little extra breath in that corner. Layout front punch, pike front. Thought we were gonna see a double tuck there. Very nice, she had to change that dismount because it's a requirement to do a two flip pass as we talked about before and she did not do that for her second pass and she made up for it right there. Results in a 9-7 score in the floor exercise for Tammy Harris. And Oklahoma counting big time on top all around performer Casey Tamayo. Number one in the conference in the all around and the uneven bar, second on the balance beam. And this is where you find out what you're made of. She is a senior. She is the foundation of this team. She is the gymnast that everyone looks to when they need a hit and they need one right now. Her teammate Ashley Cooney fell from the balance beam. This could be the Big 12 championship on the line right here. She has to hit this routine. Not to put any pressure on her. <laughs> she can't hear me. <laughs> and she did a beautiful layout step out right there. But she doesn't miss often. Casey Tamayo, as we pointed out earlier, on all of her routines, whether it's the balance beam, floor exercise, bars, vault, you name it. She has hit 46 out of her last 48 routines in competition, a record that I would put up against the best gymnast in the world. That is amazing. Very difficult combination. She did it well. Checked herself a little bit on that landing. And you can see the difference between a veteran and a newcomer on this event. A good dismount, great landing. A veteran really is deliberate. They feel like they have a purpose up there. And a 9-9 score for Casey Tamayo, bidding for an all-around conference championship, as well as helping out her team. Here in the third rotation, the Iowa State Cyclones on the vault. This is Aaron Detloff. Duchenko with a half twist, 10-0 start value. Small step in the landing. And a 9-8-5 score for the sophomore Detloff. That brings us to Jessica Oney. Sukahara with a laid out half. A little awkward on the landing. But a 9.85 score for the Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Jessica Oney, and now this is Janet Anson, the freshman. Duchenko full twist laid out. <laughs> Another 9.85 score for Janet Anson. Iowa State looks good on the vault. Very consistent, they need to stick the landings though. Crystal Carney. Yeah. Same vault. Again, a similar landing, giving away those tenths of a point. You can't do that at, in this close of a competition. But it's a 9-9 score for Crystal Carney. So let's check the scores after three rotations. Nebraska trying to defend its crown, but three teams ahead of the Huskers. Iowa State, Oklahoma, Missouri. It's a dogfight right to the finish with the fourth rotation ahead. Let's take a look at the individual all around as well as Robinson of Missouri still holding on just barely over Powell of Iowa State with Tamayo of Oklahoma lurking. Coming up here on Fox Sports Net, it's the final rotation. <laughs> 